Hey guys, it's Aaron the Ho from Mobile Reviews 8.c and we're going to do a review of the iLoom ScreenMate Max. This is a full edge to edge screen protector and I am loving this thing. The ScreenMate Max is one of the very few screen protectors that I've come across that covers, actually I think it's the only one that covers the curved edge of the iPhone. And what makes it even more unique is that it's made out of two different materials. This unique feature ensures that the front of your iPhone is completely protected but does pose a problem for your iPhone in terms of fitting it into a case. If you want a screen protector that changes the look of your iPhone slightly, you should definitely consider the screen protector. Now based on my time with it, I've given it a score of 4.3 A's out of 5. This is one of the highest rated screen protectors that I've come across, beating out the Sir Lancelot and iLoom's regular screen mates. If you want to read the rest of this review, check out the website. If you're looking for more screen protector reviews, check out that comparison tool on our website. Links are in the i or in the description section below. Real usage. Real reviews. Mobile reviews, a dot ca. Now, Mobile Reviews 8.ca, we base everything we do on real usage, which means taking regular household items and scratching them against the ScreenMate uh, Max. And we only really do that because, well, this is a $40 screen protector and spending $40 on something that sucks, well, that kind of sucks. In terms of design, the iLoom ScreenMate Max is made from two types of materials. You've got the tempered glass screen protector in the middle, and it's surrounded by iLoom's XAL-4CR alloy. Now, you know, it's a very fancy sounding alloy. It, I think it's just metal. But, you know, I'll be honest with you, this is still one of the coolest screen protectors that I've seen. Reapplicability of the screen protector isn't great as the alloy portion has a tendency to bend, so you will bend it if you remove it. Dust removal isn't too bad as iLoom does include tools to help with dust removal. Bubbling isn't an issue with the screen protector as a day after the install or even right away at the install, they generally go away. The fit on this screen protector is the absolute best. I, I just, I'm so impressed with it. The curved edges of the screen Mate Max will literally cover the entire front of your iPhone. I will note that in this video, the screen protector is pretty mangled. I've put into as many cases as I possibly can and it's been bent a lot. So this is not a typical um, fit for this screen protector. I figured out the general tips for uh, selecting a case to go with the screen protector and I'll list out some of the ones that I've tried it out with towards the end of this video. But this, the user experience that you get with the screen protector is, is something else. Like it feels like your normal iPhone, but it kind of isn't. It's really nice and you, over time, you just kind of don't even notice that you've got an extra layer of protection on your iPhone. As another result of the curved edge and alloy blend, the screen protector will last longer. Tempered glass screen protectors usually crack during removal after being lightly nicked by sandpaper, but this screen protector didn't. The curved edges also minimize the potential to chip, which is an issue for some screen protectors, especially by mine. In terms of protection, the glass portion of the ScreenMate Max held up well against keys, coins, and knives, though sandpaper will do a number on it. However, the alloy portion of the screen protector doesn't hold up as well as keys and coins will do a number to it. Now this was kind of surprising to me because I've been using this screen protector a lot and I haven't, hadn't really noticed any nicks or any dings coming out of it until I purposely went and took a coin to it. This thing has sat in my laptop bag, it gets bounced around quite a bit, so I was kind of surprised at how well, not scratch resistant, the alloy portion of the screen protector was. Viewability of the iPhone is not an issue as there, aren't, there isn't any glare or diffusion. The oleophobic coating works well, especially when compared to other plastic screen protectors. And there are no issues when accessing your iPhone behind the ScreenMate Max. The curved edges minimize the deadness that you often find on other screen protectors along the edge. Basically, that's all I got for this screen protector. I, I'm, again, I, I'm a big fan of it. If I had any money, I'd go buy another one, but I'm gonna be stuck with this one that's pretty, pretty, pretty mangled. <laughs> In terms of selecting a case to go with this screen protector, you would have to go with one that's a little thicker. So the really thin ones, like the Apple silicone case that really wrap around the uh, edge of the iPhone tightly will not work well. The case needs to have one that is thicker that has a pliable edge. So cases like the Griffin Survivor Core and the Thule Atmos X3 will fit. Installation is pretty tight as you kind of have to dig your fingernail underneath the lip of the case to uh, put the uh, iPhone into it. I personally like the Spigen Tough Armor as a case for this. Uh, ScreenMate Max is a great front and the uh, gray back make it look pretty awesome. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. I'm Aaron The Hope. Find me on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. Thanks for watching. Thank you.